This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at naming amides. Amides are derivatives of carboxylic acids, in which the OH of the carboxyl group is replaced by an NH2 group. Amides contain the carboxamide or amido functional group. The functional group has a carbon atom with a double bond to an oxygen atom and a single bond to a nitrogen atom. The nitrogen can be bonded to hydrogen atoms or alkyl groups. In this table we have the boiling points of the first three primary amides. As we can see the boiling points are quite high. The reason for these high boiling points is that amides can form hydrogen bonds between their molecules. In addition to having high boiling points they are also soluble in water. And this is because they can form hydrogen bonds with water molecules. So next we'll look at how to name primary, secondary and tertiary amides. So we'll start with primary amides, which are named by replacing the oic of the carboxylic acid name with amide. A one carbon carboxylic acid would be named methanoic acid. So we replace the oic with amide. So this molecule is named methan amide. With two carbon atoms, we have ethan amide. And with three carbon atoms, we have propan amide. Next, we have primary amides with four, five and six carbon atoms in the longest chain which are named butanamide, pentanamide and hexanamide respectively. Next we look at naming secondary amides. Secondary amides are named using an uppercase N to designate the alkyl group attached to the nitrogen atom. So as we can see from these examples, there is an alkyl group bonded to the nitrogen atom. Therefore, these are secondary amides. Our first example is a two carbon amide, which gives the name ethan amide and we have one methyl group bonded to the nitrogen atom. This gives the name N-methyl-ethan-amide. Our second example is a three carbon amide, which gives the name propan-amide. We have an ethyl group bonded to the nitrogen atom, and this gives the name N-ethyl-propan-amide. Our last example is a four carbon amide, which gives the name butan-amide. We have a propyl group bonded to the nitrogen atom, therefore this molecule is named n propyl amide And finally, we'll look at naming tertiary amides. These are named using uppercase NN to designate the alkyl groups attached to the nitrogen atom. So now we can see that the nitrogen atom has two alkyl groups. Therefore, these are tertiary amides. Our first example is a two carbon amide, which gives the name ethan amide. We have two methyl groups bonded to the nitrogen atom. This gives the name NN dimethyl ethan amide. In our second example, we have a three carbon amide, which gives the name propan amide. We have one ethyl group and one methyl group bonded to the nitrogen atom. We put the alkyl groups in alphabetical order. So this molecule is named N ethyl N methyl propan amide. In our last example, we have a four carbon amide, which gives the name butan amide and we have two ethyl groups bonded to the nitrogen atom. This gives the name NN diethyl butan amide. 